Attorney General Jeff Sessions came to Long Island with a warning for criminal gangs. We will find you, we will devastate your networks, we will starve your revenue sources, deplete your ranks, and seize your profits. We will not concede our territory to illegal gangs. He came in response to the recent murder of four young men here. Their bodies were discovered in a local park, hacked beyond recognition with machetes. <laughs> Just the latest in a string of murders attributed to a Salvadoran gang known as MS-13. Say it loud, say it clear. Sessions, you are now welcome here. Advocates for immigrants protested outside. Refugees are welcome here. Jeff Sessions being here today is not helping. That's right. It is not promoting public safety. No. It is simply furthering a political agenda that is meant to target immigrant communities. They pointed out that the victims, as well as the perpetrators, came from immigrant families, many of whom were too scared to attend the rally. This man, who did not want to give his name, is the father of one of the victims. We're hoping this ends today. I wouldn't call gangs. Uh, I will call this problem terrorism. Many Salvadorans came to this area of Long Island in the 1980s as refugees fleeing war. After settling here, the community became a magnet for other immigrants from Central America, both documented and undocumented. So many that the Salvadoran government set up a consulate. Their presence has at times been a source of tension in the community. With MS-13 implicated in 15 murders in the last 16 months, Sessions accused the gang of exploiting weaknesses at the Mexican border to infiltrate the country and recruit more members at local schools. The fact that we've had these vicious murders and within days of my talk to the Attorney General, he agreed to come here, to me shows the full strength of the federal government is to eradicate MS-13 and they should be on their knees thanking him, not out there protesting. But immigrants and their advocates say his rhetoric is scaring away the very people whose help law enforcement need to crack down on gang violence. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Long Island.